He went in for medical treatment and never left. Police say his body was found after this dialysis center closed. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. CBS 2's Dana Kosloff tells us some friends and family are wondering how it could have happened. This is hard to believe. Tracy Allums is a longtime friend of Duncan Price and his family. The 74 year old Price, a harness racehorse trainer, was found dead inside a bathroom at the Fresenius Medical Care Dialysis Center in Stager Tuesday night. Found, according to police, hours after his appointment ended and after the center had been closed and locked for the night. It's crazy that this could even happen. I'm in the medical field and there's just no way this should have happened. Police say Price's daughter called them when she couldn't find her dad, who usually finished dialysis around 3.30 and after she found his car in the parking lot. A Facebook plea helped locate a manager who unlocked the center and that's when they found him. When asked if employees are supposed to check bathrooms before locking up, a Fresenius corporate spokesperson would only say, we are working diligently to determine the cause of their passing and remain focused on the well-being and safety of all patients. It's a big concern. Somebody should have been checking the building before everybody left, so somebody dropped the ball. The response, little comfort to those who knew Price, too. He's just a, a great guy in general and uh, very funny, you know, and he was upbeat and just he helped out a lot of people. Police say there were no signs of trauma to Duncan Price's body and no criminal charges are being filed at this point. The center's website states it's open until 9 p.m. Tuesday, so it's unclear why it closed early last night. It was open for business as usual today. Robin Erica. So there are no criminal charges, but is there an active police investigation police at this point? Police are still investigating, yeah. Okay, thank you, Dana.